greetings. So now I'm going back and filling in some of our missing practice videos in terms of the yuktis or techniques of the Vigyana Bhairava Tantra. I wanted to make practice videos for all those techniques taught in the VBT that uh, are possible to do guided practices for. Some of them are, are not. So now this practice video is on Yuktis 30 and 31, and with a mention of 32 as well. And these are interrelated verses. And this is the practices that come in the second section on emptiness or spaciousness practices in the text. So I'll just guide you in Yukti number 30, which is verse 58 of the VBT, which says, O great goddess, one may consider this universe as empty void, shunya. The mind dissolves in that very emptiness. Then one shares in its dissolution. So in this practice, it's very simple, and it's a practice that either works or it doesn't. It's a Shambhava Upaya practice, and like all Shambhava practices, um, it just clicks or it doesn't. There's not any doing involved. So I'll just invite the awareness and see what happens. So I'd like you to begin in, as always, taking a couple deep breaths and getting settled, fully settled in your seat, in your body. And then you can gently look around at your environment, not looking at anything in particular or for anything in particular. I'm just observing all these things in your environment. And I'd like to invite you to contemplate quiet spaciousness permeating everything. Now there's a couple of qualities to this emptiness or shunya. And first we're just noticing the quality of quiet spaciousness that everything is actually, literally, permeated by pure space. Everything is mostly space. And everything is permeated by what I call quiet presence. That quiet presence which is, in one sense, it is you. And in another sense, it is not. It is that which underlies all the concepts of self and all the concepts of objects. If you start to feel into this quiet presence, then there are no objects. There's just the infinite spaciousness expressing itself as every color, every texture, every sensation. All these phenomena abide within formless emptiness, infinite space. And somehow that emptiness, which is everywhere, 
is untouched or untainted, as it were, by all the phenomena that arise and subside within it. And I'd also like to invite you to notice that everything that you perceive is literally empty of your story about it. Everything you perceive is empty of your concepts about it. Your concepts of things do not inhere in the things, just in your mind. So I want you to invite, I want to invite you to see whatever you see free of your concepts and stories, of names and labels, of prior experiences. Everything you perceive is empty of all your concepts. And finally, everything is empty of inherent essence. Meaning to say, nothing has an independent essence of its own. Everything is simply a kind of mask worn by the one, or a costume worn by the one. Nothing could exist independently. So everything is empty of inherent essence of its own. It exists only in relationship with the whole. It exists only as an expression of the one. If possible, you're just noticing this. You're not thinking about it. Even though I'm cueing you with words, you're just noticing. Pure openness, spacious emptiness everywhere you look and feel. Notice that's true of internal phenomena as well. Whatever sensation you have, it just is. It's not your story about it. All too easily we forget that emotions are nothing but interpreted bodily sensations. So even the single word label you put on an emotion is nothing but a concept. Emotions are interpreted bodily sensations and each emotion is empty of your story about it. It is pure essence vibrating in a particular way. Take a moment to simply be with the pure, beautiful, stark 
emptiness of everything. Lastly, you might notice that your experience in this moment is empty of a self. Except as a concept, you might have a self-concept and the self-concept is empty of any actual self. That might be disconcerting if you haven't seen it before. But if you relax, it's a blessed relief. You don't have to be anybody, actually. And you never were. Now we move on to Yukti number 31. If the last practice was a bit spacey for you, well, this brings it down to earth with a simple object. You can take any object, any, any cup, like a ceramic cup or bowl, any object to hand, an empty object, and you place it in front of you, and if you're watching this video not live, you could pause it to get your object. And then you just look into this empty object. And as the text says, you leave aside the walls or the form of the object and contemplate the space that it defines. You let your mind become absorbed in the space. The space defined by the object. And this reveals the truth of individuality. It's not about having a self. It's about the space defined by your presence. The space you take up, the space you hold, the space defined by your presence. Because like this cup or bowl, you are pure, empty, open presence in your real nature. So gaze into that cup or bowl or receptacle and let the mind dissolve into the space it defines.
could spend a little longer doing that. And whenever you're ready, you can transition to Yukti number 32 if it's available to you because it involves walking outside and gazing upon an open space. If one is available to you, a wide open space. And after practicing with the cup or bowl, maybe you can let your mind dissolve into that open space outside. So if you like, you could go for a walk now and do that. And perhaps you can continue to experience this, this spaciousness. It's quite a beautiful contemplation because it's a relief to discover that the world and everything in it, including yourself, is empty of all our concepts about it. So one might say it's meaningless on a conceptual level. But this world, this universe, this life is deeply meaningful on a non-conceptual level. And it's been my experience that you can only discover that by releasing all those concepts you attach to about how life is and what it's supposed to be like and what you're supposed to be like. When those concepts fall away, only then can the intrinsic meaningfulness be revealed by the conceptual meaninglessness of life. Home. Um.